passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I'm not sure that's the kind of message we want to hear when logging into uh, the base, but I think it has more to do with where I am in terms of the uh, in terms of the base biome. I don't think it impacts my ability to process oxygen right now. <clears throat> Alrighty, so what have we got? So there's some things uh, that I was working on last time, which was basically I'd added, well, I gotta change my mix over here a little bit. That background noise is pretty hot. Uh, I think chat should still be okay, but I'm turning down my background music. If the music is too loud or music audio from the game, just let me know. Um, what I was saying was I was going to, oh, look at that. Well, that's funky. Um, oh, I did not know that. So this is the cave system. Of, <coughs> sorry, the modules that I installed last time were the range extender for the scanner room and also speed, I think. There was a speed thing as well. And although I'd set it to look for something specific, shale chunks, may not be very much down here yet. Um, it only gives me two, I think. Doesn't seem like a lot, or maybe that's where I am at the moment. Maybe that's the, oh, I should be centered on this. Okay, there's a few of them, I guess. But, um, no, those are the blue dots of the scanner thing underneath it. What it's also doing is it's also giving me a nice little map of the, um, of the biome around me, which is kind of funny. Huh, like a 3D mapping. This is actually a pretty cool graphic. And then there's, of course, this, which gives me a view of it as well. Um, like the cameras. Let's see if I can control them. <clears throat> Interesting. Why is it so grainy? Does that have something to do with the fact that it's down so far? Oh. Oh, that's funky. It's controlling the same cameras that are in the scanner room on the surface. And so I'm guessing the graining factor has to do with it. It's so, um, it's so distant, it's so far. So I'm going to try to navigate the camera down to that biome and see whether or not I can dock it down there. That is funky. I wonder if that's a, I wonder if that's a glitch within the game or if it has something to do with the way that the game is set up. <clears throat> Like the game is, if you act, maybe it's only expecting to see one scanner room. Uh, so scanner room controls always control the same set of cameras. I don't know. There is an option to include cameras, uh, to create cameras or build cameras, I should say. Um, the signal is getting clearer as I get over to this side. So that implies that the control signal is coming from, or the vision, uh, the video screen, I should say, is getting uh, clearer as I move over to this side as I get closer to this scanner room. So, quite a bit of... Gotta remember, there's quite a bit of salt over here, come to think of it. Huh. Um, well, let's meander our way down there and see if we can dock up with the... Uh, dock up with this base, too. Hmm. Alrighty. Trying some different different with headphones, so I've got on some uh, Chi-Fi headphones, uh, giving them a try. Sorry, checking to see if these will give a little bit a uh, little bit different audio, a little bit better audio, and not be quite so obtrusive on the camera view. I realize the other ones were, um, well, fairly obstreperous. So this is 
a little smaller, a little easier to a little easier to uh, hide on the camera view. So, well, okay, this is confusing because here's a camera, right? Oh, that's a camera. That's one of these mobile cameras. So, how many of these things am I supposed to do? Oh, I could cycle cameras. Oh, duh. All right, hold on. Let me do something here. I'm going to just park this camera here for a moment. Somewhere where hopefully it doesn't get stolen by... Okay, let's park it over here. There we go. Now, if I'm in this room and I hit camera view, I should be able to cycle cameras, right? Camera 2, camera 4, camera 3, camera 1. Okay, so let's try 4. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so I'm on the camera views. Oh, okay. So any one of the rooms will give you control over all of the cameras. Well, that's kind of cool. And since I was scanning for shale chunks, it'll tell me where the shale chunks are. I wonder how much damage I can go down here and not sustain. This is cool. All right, so it gives a uh, kind of a quick way to do a little biome exploration, I guess. Um, what is this? Oh, that's one of those eye eye fishes. Okay, so interesting. Um, kind of makes me want to go and build biomes, or build uh, you know these these uh, what you call it these scanner rooms in each one of the cave biomes that I find. Is that thing gonna jump on my camera? I don't know. I'll ignore it till it does, I guess. Hmm. Oh. Did I just bump into something? I guess I did. Oh. They have a little bit of size on them. Okay, so I've got some shale chunks down here. Shale chunks I was just trying to... What is it I need, actually, come to think of it? Hold on. Does it allow me to get to there? No, it does not. Okay. All right, let me get back to uh, base here and dock this thing. I find myself looking over to the side. Here, hold on a second. Let me give myself a little bit of background illumination. So that allows me, um, what was I going to say? So if you see my gaze going back and forth between the screens here, it's because I'm playing on one screen, which is a little bit to my left, um, which is why I put the camera view on the right side of the screen. And then on the other screen is where the, the chat window and stuff like that are. So I keep scanning back and forth just to make sure I'm not overlooking somebody in chat. And anyway, that's the deal. What is this? And a little easier to explore these spaces with just a camera uh, than trying to take the, you know, the whole ship and everything down here. Well, I guess that's kind of the idea, right? I would like to find the parts necessary, and I guess I have to dock this or um, exit out of it. I would like to find the ingredients necessary to get a mining arm on the prawn suit. So then I can take advantage of these larger chunks of material which require the specialized mining arm on the prawn suit. So, hey, what's this? Have I been over here already? Easy way to check, see if I have scanned those boxes. Um, can't tell if I have or not because there's nothing you can see. I think I have been this way. Yeah, I have. Okay. Pretty cool though. I like the uh, feeling of navigating these little submersibles around and, and even the, uh, not the prawn suit so much. That thing is kind of mm, clunky. 
but uh, I like the the idea of navigating these little guys around and then um, oh yeah so this is one of the other ways up I think I've fallen down this uh, down this hole once before if this is what I'm thinking of this one yeah yeah 183 meters well maybe not this is kind of Okay, kind of small and clanky. Yeah, I'm also running out of uh, video controller range. What is this? Oh, next to some wreckage. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, let me go back to the video controller thingy and then I'll. Um, kind of funky though. So, this implies that the same control system is uh, it doesn't seem to matter which own one of the control rooms I'm accessing it from I should be able to access most of the cameras huh so I could drop camera drones in various locations and then cycle between them no wonder there's a reason to make oh that's the rationale behind making multiple cameras very funky and will it tell me both camera locations let me see so I have one camera control room here, and the sea moth is docked next to it. And I have the base and the beacon. Okay, this shows as a camera control room. So this is technically its own, this is its home base, I guess. This is the camera's home base, if that's the one that's showing up as a camera control room. Unless it's just registering the other camera, which is also possible. In that case, why isn't registering the other two cameras that are in this location, or one of the other two cameras? Hmm. Funky. We shall see, we shall see. It's pretty sunny here today. Uh, temperatures are really quite mild. I found this before, did I? Yes, I did. Um, but school is closed because of coronavirus. Hands washed, well washed. So even in a virtual sense, I should be. Oh, hey, welcome to the stream. Um, even in a virtual sense, I should be, uh, you know, as non-contagious as possible. Why is this going over here and that's going over there? No? All right, I'll go this direction. Although you can control these apparently quite a ways, I was almost, I think, a kilometer away from the other base. What's it say the numbers are? That's a sea moth that way, the other direction base. Okay, 500 meters. So I can control this maybe up to 500 meters away, but <clears throat> anyway, I'm just kind of getting wrapped into the into the minutia of the game control mechanics. It's not really that important, but it looks like I can control things up to about 500 meters away and still be able to use them, still be able to function. All right, come on, dock, 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 boink. There we go. Nice. Okay. So we have camera view room. Very cool. Hmm. 195, 194 power is ticking down, however, which implies that my little uh, <coughs> suit over here, this thing, is inactive. So all the food and everything I put in there is gone. Oh, that's awkward. Let's go out and uh, do a little fishing. And by fishing, I mean get some dead fish. Uh, of which there don't seem to be a whole number of them. Those little eye eyes were probably the, the most of them that I've seen. Okay, I'm not going to attack a, one of those big guys. Because frankly, I'm not sure that I can even kill them. So, I'm looking for the smaller feeder fish. Something I can slash apart and put into that, uh, put in that bioreactor. So, we shall see. Um, okay. To do what to do. Here we go. Here's some little feeder fish. Come in, come in, come in. There's one. There we go. Did I get one? I did. Ish, I did. Good. Oculus, good. Jelly shroom? Is there any can I kick these? 
No? Okay. Those are not harvestable. What's this thing? A little one? Nope. Okay. I did get a jelly shroom. Something. Hey, hey, come back here. Come back here. I mean you nothing but harm. That's right. There we go. Alright, so I've got some fish. I wonder if I should actually eat one of these. Food is down to about half. Let's try one of these cooked oculus. Ooh, 30. Nice. Aye, aye. Okay, that helped with the food situation. Water. Yes, we need water as well. Okay. 30 seconds. Oop, oop, oop. I'm dinking around out here. Sorry. Get back to the base. Um, yep, yeah, looks like a necklace. Okay, I'm not going to swim to the surface. I'm going to swim into my little base here, so get off my case. Wow, you really have left me like zero. Are you kidding me? Oh, crap. <clears throat> okay, well. A little bit of random exploration with the air suit on was not um, that useful. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, one fish, but not the cooked fish. Well, that's weird. Okay. And also, I should put on my long range. There. I do have the ultra high capacity one on. I didn't have enough smarts to go and get the other one. Okay. So, scanner room. Where did I end up not getting the stuff I just harvested? Okay. Actually, you know what? No, I don't think there's any quartz down here. If there's quartz, um,. Yeah, this is the this is the chai fi headset I was telling you about. Um, see here, that one's closer. Camera. Oh, well, no, that really doesn't work well. There we go. Hard to focus on that. Uh, hard to focus on a small object when the camera wants to focus on my face. Because, well, hey, I'm naturally photogenic. All right, so let's go and catch some fish and not run out of oxygen this time. And then power up the reactor down here, the bio reactor. So let's find some of the small prey fish. running out of oxygen. I don't know why it's going so quickly down here. I got the wrong headset on? Yes, of course I have the wrong headset on. Doofus. Alright, 90 seconds of oxygen. Okay. I had the radiation suit on. Alright, come here, come here, fish. Come here, come here. And I cannot hack and slash with a dam. Anything? Fish? Did I get you? Apparently not. Let's try that again. Cook docket. Inventory full? Are you kidding me? Full of what? Uh, big air tank. That's what it's full of. Crap. Okay, fine. Where's the base? Where is my base? I had some extra titanium. I think I had some extra titanium. I'll put in a. I'll put in. I don't have any ceramic y stuff, so let's put some food in here before it just absolutely goes up in flames. Um, there and there. Now, oxygen is topped up with this tank, so let's go back over to the ultra high capacity tank and top that one up. Good. And then where is my manufacturing tool? Um, 
let's use that in place of the oh it's in a slot one never mind okay so i know i'm not connecting to this room it's right inside a hatch so let's see if i have enough to put a blocker or something right here wall locker versus what wall locker large freestanding locker I guess that means not. Oh, that requires quartz. Okay. All right. Wall locker. How many of these can I put on this wall? One, two, at least three. So I pop one in here. Now, what would I want to store in there? Hmm. I don't know. Let's build another locker because I think these things are just titanium. Okay. So now in a pinch I can store stuff. I don't know. Um, resources I want to take to the surface later. Not really sure. Okay. Did I have water from the last time or did I use that up? How can I lose the water if I... Yeah, I might have read this game. Killing me. Killing me. All right. Let's take a quick look in here. How much does those grind down? We don't know yet. Okay. 62 out of 500. So something is running a lot of power. Is it the scanner room is running that much power? 63, 64. It's ticking up. Let's turn off scanning for a minute. 65, 66, 67. Okay, so the scanning activity does take a fair amount of power. All right, let's go out and get a little bit more food, uh, some of which I actually need for myself. So. Um. Okay, you're weird. Why are you just hanging there, fish? <laughs> okay, that was weird. Um, you're just hanging out in the hot water. Well, as one does. All right, weird little fish. Come here, little fish. Little fish is... Eat you up. Yum, yum, fishy. What is this? I got that before, didn't I? Yeah, I opened it. Is that a fish? No, random bubble. Okay, where are the little fish gone? Here they are, here they are, here they are. Eat that one. There's at least two here, right? Oh, he just zipped right past me. Try not to chomp on me next time, huh? Hmm. Okay, little fishies. Not really helping me here. Get away, snake. Keep that energy level up. I need to finish building this little platform or just disassemble it. Probably just disassemble it because I don't really know what it's useful for. Let me shake it apart. There we go. It was really supposed to just be a platform there, but it never got built. So, all right, let's pop back inside. How much oxygen? I have enough for a little bit more hunting, fishing. Hmm. I wonder if that's what those grab traps are for. So you can like, put one of the grab traps down and like suction in a bunch of uh, little fishies. Do not know. Do not know. Best practices? Do not know. Compost organic matter. Okay, still got two. All right, looking good. All right, so fishies. Hmm. All right, so I can scan down here and I can run cameras around. All good there. Control camera, good. Um, it's got range upgrades, that's all good. Got speed upgrades. So, 
what do I need? What do I need to make the what do I need to make the whatchamacallit? The welding arm. Not the welding arm, the mining arm for this thing. Or a stasis rifle so that I can shoot those fish so they stay in place. Um prawn suit. And if I get the prawn suit down here, then I've actually got a kind of a problem. So how do I get the prawn suit out of here? Um, Neptune boosters are next. Nickel ore. Prawn suit jet upgrade. Crystal and sulfur. Okay. And nickel ore. Oh, not so great. Prawn suit. That's the torpedo arm. Where's the mining thing? Oh, come on. Are you telling me that I don't even know what the mining thing is? Okay, well, there's alien containment as well. Don't know anything about that. Back to square one. All right, well, I'm going to go out and get in a little ship, head back to the other base, and then figure out where we can explore further, maybe with some more beacons. I still haven't found that uh, that one place we found the one time, the fossil fossil caves. I want to try to find the fossil caves again. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Let's see where we go. It's up here because I put this base almost right under it. There it is. Okay, so this. I should have popped up here and got some fish. They're all over the place. Okay, so this is this red kelp stuff. My other base is over there. I think that rendezvous point was over that way somewhere, but the entrance to cave here, let's see, over in this direction. So that's there. Let's go this way. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can find that uh, fossil cave, um, but I can't go for very far because I'm going to run out of water. Hmm. What is that? Why is it glowing blue? That's cool. That's another entrance spot. Was this the one I just found? Ah, yeah, it was, I think. Pretty sure this is the same one. Because it looks the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, thank you for the host. I've got to get my alerts fixed so I don't have just the default. Don't have just the default thingies there, the default zombies. I have an, a widget installed, I thought, but it does not seem to be reliably installed. Okay, water I'm running out of faster than I like. So, maybe not find that super deep cave right now. Big chunk of wreckage though. Did I go in this one? Have I reliably explored all these things? I don't know. I tell you, it's the worst. I feel like I'm jumping out of the ship and exploring it all over again. I think I did. Let's try it. Apply the theme for the widget. I do have the theme already, I thought. But. Scanner room fragment. That'll just give me some more of the uh, titanium. Metal salvage. Uh, nope, I don't think I need that right now. Big section of wreck. The theme for the widget. Okay. It should be the same one. It came packaged with the theme for the uh, page as well. So the widgets are the same. Uh, something dark, whatever it's called, uh, the theme of the thing. Oh, I didn't open this one. Hey, have I got water in there? Come on, tell me I've got water. Oh, look at you. All right, game. I take back all the bad stuff I said about you. Thank you. What about you? I found one. Oh, so I have been here before, but I didn't, I missed that other one. Well, always pays to check again. Never can tell when I'll spot something I didn't spot the first time. 
Like, that sand shark, you annoying thing. Get away! You are freakishly annoying. You went all the way up there to find me. You wanker. What about you? Scan a room fragment. Okay, don't need that. More titanium. Need to apply it like the other on the Streamlabs website. Okay, let me try that. Um, afterwards, of course. Because usually, oh, here's an entrance. Except it says it's locked. Huh. Well, if that one's locked, can I repair it? Doesn't look like it's obviously busted. So, what's another way in? Here? No, it's like a hull section. Okay, that implies that there's a way in. Maybe through this freakishly great hole in the side. Well, that's easy enough to spot. How about you? No? I must have been in here before. These crates look far too empty. Yeah. No, no, I wasn't. I've been in PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Degasi Crew Manifest, Marguerite Maeda, Mercenary, Dishonorably Discharge, Lost in Space. Interesting. Okay. All right. Now I'll get out of here before I am drowned or suffocate or asphyxiate. All righty. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? Okay. So I have explored this wreck thoroughly. I have some water, oxygen. Food is achievable. I have to get out and slash a couple fish. Like that one. Come back here, fish. I've got a charbroil you. Are you did you literally eat me? I suppose that's supposed to work the other way around, buddy. Come here. There. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Edibles. Redible edibles. Hmm. Gotta have those edibles. Health, about 50%. Okay, can't really take too many hits then. <coughs> Hopefully. Hopefully I went on mute before I coughed. Okay, entrance to cave, that's the other entrance, nicely lit up in blue. Navigation wise, my base is over that away. Okay, let's go this way. My spouse has gone out to the store, um, so I'll have to take a break here in a moment when she gets back to help in with the, help in with the groceries or whatever. Um, ouch. Dumb fish. Can't even damage my thing here. Alright. Going deeper. Again, base should be ah, over there. Alright. This is where I keep thinking I should have brought a buoy along so I can mark the entrance to this. Um. <laughs> oh, wreckage over here. Really deep wreckage, but it's literally blue. Usually implies there's something I can get at in the wreck. What exactly? There's two doors. And oh, oh, I definitely want to get out and get that. Try not to kill myself. I have something I already got before apparently okay doors okay I'm not gonna just swim around out here where am I do I have my rebreather hat on yes I do lots of oxygen ultra high capacity okay okay hull section kind of a door hull section Another door, can't get in it. Another door, can't get in it. 
big hall section. Another door. Can't get in it. All right, well that's um, puzzling. Doesn't imply that I can cut it open. Doesn't give me the prompt to say, hey, break out the old laser cutter. So, how are you supposed to get in this interior weird lock space? No, really? Oh, geez, huh, really? Okay, it's a maze. Okay, I've totally not been here, and my oxygen is really sensitive on this point. Let's find out what we can get in this space here. And this one is no signal, which is odd. What does this mean? Microscope non-functional, don't need that. Inventory is full, awkwardly. Open data box. Reinforced dive suit. Oh, yes, please. Work on some of that. I didn't know you could reinforce this puppy. Uh-huh. Open supply crate. Take item, which is what? Water. But my uh, thing is full. No, it isn't. Not full for that. All right. Got water. What about you? Water. Okay, good. Game, you're reading my mind. I needed water. But now, uh-huh. This is what I was worried about. And I've actually got to cut this thing open. Um, uh, oxygen is getting a little low here, guys. fish. Nice that you guys can make it in when I couldn't make it in. Bottles of water. Power cell charger. Got that already. Make myself some coffee. Not. Cats. Blue cap. Gray cap. Sure. Inventory is full. I have a gray cap already, so dump that one. Pick up the blue cap. Captain's chairs. Desk. 30 seconds. Yep. Yeah. Let's give ourselves just a little bit more oxygen, like 90 seconds. Come on. Are you serious? Game? Okay. Crap. Oh, because I don't have enough space in inventory. <sighs> Okay, where did I save last? Way over there, didn't I? Yep. Okay, well... I got a hat out of it. Isn't that spiffy? I wonder if I got the blueprint out of it, too. Oh. Maybe I got the blueprint too, which wouldn't make it all bad. Where's the suit blueprint? Come on, suit blueprint. Oh, I did. Okay, well, synthetic fibers, diamond, and titanium. And synthetic fibers are what? Fiber mesh. I don't, oh, here they are. Benzene, which is the blood oil thing, plus fiber mesh, which is um, two creepvine samples. Give me synthetic fibers, and if I apply those to the suit, heavy duty synthetic providing physical protection, enhanced survival, and extreme temperatures. Nice. Okay, we'll definitely want to make one of those. So, this is implying, however, that I'm sort of back here and it's still percolating away. So, I don't have to do that exploration, at least, I don't have to right now. Huh. All right. Well, I'm not going to live like a gift horse in the mouth, except that's where my ship is. <laughs> a kilometer away. Okay. Well, we I mean, are going to have to look at the gift horse in the mouth a little bit after we put a few more fish in here just to make sure it's powered up. Come here, fish. 
Where's my fish? Where'd you go? Oh, I saw ya. Um, apparently I didn't. Oh, you butt-headed fish. Go! Get, 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 get. Apparently now I'm inside the jelly shroom. Okay, well, that's one way to get safe from it, I guess. Get away from me. Boost. Rabbity fish. Okay, so... Took some hits there on the health bar. Let's go in in a moment and rethink things. All right. Okay, well, we're going to skip the water then. We're going to skip getting that. Do I have anything? Oh, jelly shrimp spore. Charming. Not sure what to do with it. Let's put it in here and see if it works. Eh, well, maybe it's good for something. Okay, so... Do I have anything to drink? Anything to eat? No. Alright. I do have lots of oxygen, and I have fast swim glide fins, so let's get my butt in gear and go swimming. Get my ship back. Actually, where's my little, where's my little arrow gel? There it is. I'll put that on one. And one. And Saves that oxygen use if I don't actually have to like use it. Going to swim for a kilometer. Okay, that gets me towards it. 844, 837, 833 on the surface. If I swim under the surface. 10, 11, 12, and it's about the same, I guess. Probably ought to fish for some. Oh, well, I forgot I got this little guy. Alright, come back here. Come here, come here, come here. I mean you nothing but harm. Thank you. Health pack is low. I should get back to base and pick up a couple of those. But, maybe a little bit more random exploration. Maybe not. Sand shark, beat it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Aha. Got there just before you did, buddy. Boost. Okay, where's my base? It's that way. Um. 
This is the direction I was exploring. Well, they built a natural arch rock formation, so ooh, we want to swim under it. Okay, alright, here's a deep biome entry point. Right? What did I run into? This has like, would you get out of here? Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? What are these smoke volcano things? I don't know. Alright, well, maybe that isn't the deep biome thing. Hmm. 326. Base is that direction, so directly away from the base. Hmm. It's okay. Um. All right. There's an inclinometer in here. Can't really tell which way I'm going. Big drop off. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah. Jesus wept. Where the hell's my ship? And what are you? You know, I tried to scan this puppy. A warper, huh? Yeah, crap. Well, I don't know what a warper is. But, looks like I'm dead again. Okay. You know, you know, gang, you're kind of getting on my nerves. But, hey, on the plus side, my health's all back up. Let's try this again. 1,500 meters away this time. Nothing but nothing. Alrighty then. Nothing but that. So, 1,500 meters of swimming, and then a lot down. I think it's a little faster if I use a little speedy boat, and I do have batteries for it, so let's just go faster. Except this time, instead of screwing around, warper. Huh? What the hell is a warper? Didn't really get enough of the scan on him before he, well, warped me out and killed me. Warper is still probably there, right? Am I on mute? No, I'm working. Alright, the audio is working. I guess not, I'm working. Hmm. Okay, how deep is that puppy? Oh, deep. Alright, okay, let's get some oxygen. Top off, and 500 plus meters deep. Hmm. 
definitely going to build that reinforced dive suit as well. Um, this is for the birds. But I need to put a marker down. Okay, where's that warper? Come on, come on. Give me my suit. Give me my thing. I'll be back. Cell, doofus. Now, health is good. Food is a little on the weak side. I try exploring, or I'm gonna get kicked out by a warper. Which one? What is that? Warning: Entering ecological death zone. Adding to Crater Edge. What the heck does that mean? That does not sound good. I'm going this way. Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? Huh. Going a different direction seems like a plan. Yep, running. You know, I'll come back down here in the Cyclops once I've up armored it or something so I don't have to lose the bloody thing. That sounded like warper noises. Maybe. Sand sharks. Okay, well, let's make a burlier suit, which is going to require those blood thingies. And our blood thingies are over near a forest of spiky bits. So where's my forest of spiky bits? This was the smoke crater thing. Okay, let's keep going this way. Uh, yep, swimming as fast as I can. Um, or in this case, I don't know if this is any faster really, but at least it gives me oxygen while I'm in it. Um, now I'm looking for those white spiky things. Hey, what is this? Intriguing entrance. Is this like an entrance or is this just a ah, just a little hidey, hidey hole with bomb fish in it? Of course, there are. Oh, more wreckage. Have I seen this stuff before? Probably. Nothing in that space. Ah, but there's an arm thing outside of it. That implies that I have actually been here before. Would you get off me, Sand Shark? I look nothing like a girl sand shark. Go. Boost. Alright. Camera. Doorway. Where is another entrance into the space? Yes, so I have not actually been here, because I would remember this entrance spot. So let's try this. What about these boxes? Anything in them? All carefully meshed up, so nothing I can get in. All right, how about you? No, no, no wish, no, definitely no entrance tube. Some stuff up there which is glowing, which implies it's useful. The heck is that? Leaking oil? Nope, can't scan it. And it's dark in here. I am so gonna die in here again, aren't I? Yep. Different room. Holy crap. Water. Yes, please. Drink some of that. How about you? Disinfect the water. 
good for right now. No. 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 And negatory on anything scannable. So let's go into. See if we can find a little. Oh, there it is. No, no, no. Got a little. Let's go in this one. Huh. Okay. That's one way to do it. Up to. Alright, let's try that again. After we oxygenate. Welcome aboard, Captain. Mm hmm. Find some light in there. Get back in here. There, this one. Crushed. Squished. Mangled. Ripped. Torn. Anything to scan. A lot of paper. acts like I've been in here because these boxes are empty. If they had had scannable ports in them I may have captured them before but I don't recall ever being in this piece of wreck. So maybe the game is smart enough to recognize that I just uh, that I have the parts that would have been scannable there and it's not bothering to repopulate uh, new sections of wreck with them. So all I get is uh, titanium when I do them. No? No clue. Okay. Alright. Getting out this way? No. Let's go back this way then. And I went that direction before. Uh, what's in here? Oh, okay, one more supply crate. Some more water. Okay. Zappy things and a door which looks interesting. Anything in that one? No. No. All right. Can I cut this one open? Yes, I can. Oxygen is getting down, though. I have to watch that. Hmm. Interestingly enough, I haven't gotten any damage from those red hot edges before. So, I don't know if they actually. Oh, what's this? No signal. Prawn suit, grappling arm fragment. Why, yes. No, I don't know. Let's try. Is that what I needed? Um, yes, one of two. I'm going to run out of oxygen, which is not any fun. Cyclops shield generator, also a nice thing to have. Let's get out of here and get some oxygen before I like completely stroke out. Schwang. Hmm. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. And food would be nice too. Do I have any food? Do not. Any food in the nearby? Yes, there's food up there. Come here, food. Your name may be fish to your mom, but to me, you're just food. Here, food. Where'd you go? No, I don't need sand sharks. Need small, tasty, edible fish. Which disappeared into the wreckage. Lovely. Am I going to be chasing food around in here? Come on, come on, come on. Here, here. You, 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 you. Come here, come here. Yeah, I'm trying to do that, okay? Cook paper. There. See? Like that. Vital signs stabilizing. 
There's another one. Come here. No? All right, you guys. Catching fish. I, there has to be one of those... There has to be one of those things in here which gives you the ability to just make nutrient bars. And the nutrient bars are actually quite um, filling. Because this process of going around and catching fish and stuff like that is for the birds. All right. Now let's go back and see if I can find anything else in that room where I was just about to run out of oxygen. Uh, something you're sure will make good use of. Fish? Yes, exactly. Speaking of fish, eat fish. Yum. Yum. Take the seam off. Pump full of oxygen. Boom. Yes. Back out again. Go back in. Oh, shield generator. Yes. Iron tootin', I will. Shield generator, zappity, 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 in here. Oh, yeah, there's food fish feed, ah, food fish inside the place. I could have eaten one of those, except it went through the wall, and I can't do that. All right, cut this puppy open. I don't know if that was the Cyclops shield generator or the, the one for the one for the sea moth. Um... I got a couple of modules added to the Cyclops uh, last night, yesterday. Uh, let's get some light on in here. Lockers, anything in them? No. Negatory, and no, somebody's picture. Huh. How about you? No? Door? No. Well, this is a pretty big wreck. I definitely would have remembered exploring this space. Okay, why do I have to... Why did I have to cut into the space if I can't actually do anything with it? That seems kind of dopey. Oh. I can apparently clip through this stuff and get into the inside of it. How about you? Open? Open? No. Okay. I just kind of feel like I'm missing something here, and I don't know what. Oh, maybe it just tells me doorway at both ends, and you can pick up one of them. So you have to cut into the space from either one. Um, multiple entrance into, into the space. I don't know. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Oh, wait. Another entrance. And down, and oh shit. Oh, I've been here before. Oh, I could have gone that way. Okay, fine. Alrighty. What did I get? What did I get? Treasures and loot. I got a blueprint for something. Sea moth? No. Oh, speaking of sea moth, which is what I'm in right now, where's the sea moth zap the critters thing? The exterior defense. Here it is. Perimeter defense. Polyaniline. Do I know how to make that? I do. Right? Polyaniline is... Um, it's up here in the advanced materials, I think. Oh, there it is. There it is. Gold and hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid comes from deep shrooms and salt deposits. So I pick up some deep shrooms when I'm down there. So I can make that zapper tool. That would make me very happy. Hmm. As well as probably engine efficiency module, also poly online. And I've already put the hull reinforcement on it. Sonar. Um, I'm not sure that's that useful. But energy efficiency means that I can generate more power. And I don't remember what my power was in this thing. So what else did I get? I got a Cyclops field generator, shield generator. Temporarily, temporary barrier, making it invulnerable for a brief time. Advanced wiring kit, copy that. Polyanolite, copy that. Power cell. Okay, I can do all those things. Alrighty. Let us go and manufacture stuff, but... Yeah, see, here's this toolage stuff here. If I have a, if I have the right sort of arm on the suit, uh, I can go and do more stuff with it. 
Okay, this is back towards base. So I am circling base at about one and a half kilometers out now, I think. So let's try down there. Ooh, I don't like those fish. But one and a half, almost two kilometers out now. Not much out with that, not so good. What the hell is that? That oh yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Watch it be just the right size for them to come right in here after me. What the hell was that? One of those ghost reaper things? Or just like the regular reaper is bad enough. I don't know. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. Okay. Maybe that's what the game does. It just puts like the really big predators and stuff on the outskirts of the map. Like, no, that's not a big predator. Oh, for frack's sake. Come here, rock. Um, and then it sort of says, go no further this direction because you are going to get eaten. That's what it sounds like. Uh oh, that was like one of those warper noises. That thing right there, I think. It'll warp me out of my suit, and although my health is decent, I can't take too many of those hits. Okay, we got Shroom Forest, 1500 meters to base, uh, in a northwesterly, northeast direction, and then what? Deep drop off. Deep drop off. More deep drop off. Is this crater wall? 300 meters deep. Okay, that looks weirdly symmetrical. There are glowing lights over here. Let's check out glowing lights. Interesting. Ah, here's one of those base entrances. Let's try this one. Are these the deep shrooms? No, these are just normal acid mushrooms. 380 meters down. Come on, give me some deep shrooms. Exchange power source, because I run out of battery. No wonder. Duh. There we go. Interesting. What does that do? Insert tablet. It's one there already, isn't it? No. Ah. Oh, ah. So, how far am I from base? I am on the other side of the mushroom forest, down a cliff wall, and there's an entrance. Let's go get one of those purple entrancey things, and I've got a bunch of those in storage, and let's go and find our way into the space again. That would be cool. For that, I'll head back to base. Actually, once I'm in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, base is southeast that way so in order to go from base I need to go northeast northwest northwest about northwest about 300 uh, wait northwest about 1800 about 1 1.8 kilometers all right let's head back to base without getting killed on the way big crater here huh all right base make mine base Shrooms are large and hard. Not what you want to run into. That's that really big one, isn't it? West 1.8 kilometers. Oh, 
that's a massive one. Yeah, that is the one that we found those uh, jelly balls down at the base of. Actually wore the shirt for um, DJ today. Actually, this is the one my one my brother-in-law got for me. Did a camera view. Oh, let's see. Let us see. Not sure that was visible, but he wants to watch the stream. Then he can. Uh... Thanks. Had a request from. Uh... One of my viewers to uh, work on black shirts, so I have a few of them in my closet. Hmm. No, oh, one of my fan club. I have so many. Alrighty then. You know, I'm probably going to need to turn off that thing because I don't need to be like burning all this energy doing scanning for sandstone chunks when I'm not even in my base. Let's pop it over here. find out here shortly. Does this thing have legs? Oh, there's the legs. Alright, thanks game. I just had to remind you, huh? Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh. Alright, charge up. And do I have anything in storage on this thing that I need to remember to take out? Uh, diamonds. Okay. Remember to take those out. some water as long as I'm going through here because this is probably like churning through power like nobody's business. Yes, I know. Thank you. 590 out of 720, 589, 590. Let's turn this thing off. Thank you. Now maybe it'll power back up a little bit. Water. Yes, please. Now let's put away some of this stuff. Food. You get salt. in one of these lockers, this one I think. Ah, more diamonds than I know what to do with. Literally. And gold. Alright, let's take the silver out of here then, I guess. Okay. Need another locker. Huh. In a moment, anyway. Uh, Plasteel, stuff like that. You can go into my specialty over here. Boom. Scanner room, HUD chip. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Goo cap, that goes in the captain's quarters. Water, disinfectant water. Looking good. Alrighty. Captain's quarters. How do I put something on something? I want to put a hat up there. Just put it up there, huh? No. There it is. Nice. Except I gotta rotate the cap. Okay. We gotta put cap. No. Right bracket, left bracket is rotate. 
And also does other stuff. All right, whatever. Here, game. Have a hat. There we go. Got some models in here too, I think. Mm, different one. Huh. Okay, so. Can I have snacks? Do I need snacks? Sure. Water, coffee. Yep. Snacks. Makes me want to have chips. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the coffee. Batteries. One of these batteries is not like the other. All right. Horse dive suit. Hmm. Disclaimer: You are not invulnerable when wearing this suit. Well, that's no fun. All right. Let's find out. Let's get our little toy. Okay, cut. This is off here. safe. I did have a buoy. Oh, I did a beacon on me. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's use the... I should have put the beacon down then. Alright, what do I need to make another beacon? It's been pretty cheap to make, as I recall. Beacons, 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 beacons. Power cells, reactor rods. Nope. Beacon. Probably missing it. There it is. Copper ore and titanium. Actually, I'm a little low on copper ore. Yeah, yep. Gold. I think I've got a gold and diamonds, but I don't have any copper ore on me. Okay. Well, I'll come back to that. Alright, so let's go and outfit one of these. Uh, two, just to be on the safe side. And let's go find some find out what that thing is. Is it nighttime outside? Of course I can't have a key. Yep, yeah, daytime. Okay. Health 71%. Pretty sure I can charge that and fix stuff here. Let's put that in slot one. This was northeast, so southwest, right? Right that way. Okay. Wait, is that the right way? Well, I know I came in over this way, so let's go this way. Well, let's go out this way and find our way there. By hook or by crook? Oh, 
that rack? Oh, I think it's them dropping. One quest? No. That was southeast, so I gotta be over a little more this way. Yeah, no, 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 no. This way. Pulling mushrooms. Let's find the mushroom forest, which I think is past these floaty rocks. Wreckage, which I don't recall on the way, but you know, let's figure it out. Still kelp, need mushrooms, great big mushrooms. Okay. Okay, so that was the one he just explored. Okay, so we want to go this way. Now what? One of the sand sharks? Big long electrical eel, pretty nasty. All right, so let's see what we got. Where is the mushroom forest? Am I just like hallucinating here? 1.6. This the one? Crater wall? Now it's in this area because I remember coming past this before. That's a big freakish looking snaky thing up there. I don't want. I really don't want. So don't want. Ah, crap. I'm going to get snacked on. Yeah, there's that little cave that I zipped past before. Another big section of wreckage. Zip past this too. It's the one we explored a couple different ways. Alright. So far, so good. 1680, all right, 1670, I should say. Another one of those big critters. Looking like it's going this way. Uh, I want to go that way then. Come on. Rig for silent running. Turn off my lights. Okay. Crater wall? Is this the crater wall? And the glowy thing. It's a section of crater wall. Nope, 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 nope. It's the one with the bad guy. Yeah, this one, not this one. Want the one that had the big circular asteroid or whatever crashed down in the middle of it. Shoot, 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 not need a ghost trooper, please, don't make not a ghost trooper, come on, turning off, turning off, you're not attracted, there's no lights to be attracted to, don't look this way, this one, no, 1.8, so right about the right range, so where is that, where is that crater with the rock in it? Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. Over here somewhere. Okay, gone too far. All right. This, by the way, is where the blood orbs thing are. So I should probably stop down and pick up some of them. But I need to zip back and go the other direction in a little bit. So the blood orbs, I think, fall off these trees. Yeah, see these blood jelly things down here? So, and oh, there's those deep acid shrimp things. Need some of those. One, two, three at a time. Let's put them in the locker. Blood orbs. Need a few of those as well. One. Can I get this one? Two. Good. How about this one? Three. And three full. These things are pretty big. Alright. Boom, boom, and boom. And maybe enough for three more of these things. Right. One, two, three. Okay. Pop one in there because that's all I have room for. Okay. All right. So here is this foresty thing. So that was too far. So let's cut back over this direction and look for a crater with a big rock in the middle. I think it was down here. 400 meters. Oh crap! This is really creeping me out because I don't remember it being that deep. Big round rock, big round rock, copy that. Entrance over this way somewhere? No. Nope, not quite the right space, okay. Yeah, I know it's over here somewhere. Still think this is the wrong spot. Yep. Really not thinking this is the right spot. Okay, let's go find the mushroom forest and then navigate our way back up from there. Okay, so Blood Shroom, Blood Kelpie Forest is over that away. So let's go this away and find that mushroom forest. Oh, that was one of those warpers. We are, okay, so we'd actually even overshot a little bit. This is almost two kilometers out. Round crater wall, is this it? Is this it? Rock in the bottom of it? Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. All right, glowy, ups, glowy thing over here. Yes, here we go. All right. Looking good, looking good. All right, so let's pop out here. And let's use this decoy. I'm going to edit beacon. I don't want to pick it up. Come on. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay, this is, what are we calling this? Uh, alien base. Alien, without the caps lock. Alien sub base. Alien crater base. How's that? That works. Okay, now let's go in the crater. Tablet. Yes, we have tablets. Tablet key. And come on, come on, come on. Boom. Anything interesting in here? More rocks. Oh, well, look at you. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What have we here? A whole power station of these things. Well, I'm going to leave them there for right now. Don't really have anywhere to store them. I have a few in the base already. What is this? Data terminal. Alien biological history. New PDA data. Oh, yes, please. Alien data, terminal data, alien biological history. This terminal contains data mapping, the complete biological history of a member of the alien species. The data set is hugely complex, but some basic facts can be reconstructed. Was grown from seed 1,708 years ago, Earth years ago. Separated from broodlings early for special training. Conducted in Temple of Research as the youngest ever initiate at age 96. Downloaded a corrupted data set and was stored for three years for refactoring. Relocated to the outer galaxy clusters to support disease research endeavors. Relocated to 4546B for high priority disease research. Contracted Cara bacterium. Stored in Sanctuary 3. Corporeal body safely disposed. Interesting. Okay. Is there more stuff? No. That was it. Oxygen, a little on the low side. Got these things. Ion cube. Am I supposed to collect these things? Hold on. I'm totally going to actually die down here, aren't I? Of course I am because I don't even have my extra two. Oh, crap. I am so dumb. Don't have my extra oxygen with me. It must have been dumped on the floor of that stupid ship. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on, ship. So what do I, what do I do with this information? I don't know. Welcome aboard, Captain. So I have information. I just don't know what to do with it. Oxygen recharged. Now, did I miss anything on my way in there? You know, these alien lights are really not very bright. You guys could up the amperage a little bit here up the wattage. Okay, so... Anything in this space apart from just... What are these things? What happens if I take these ion cubes? I took four of them before. I took a couple of them before. back here? No? Okay, I don't know. Pick up Ion Cube. Okay, and then what? Doesn't say put Ion Cube back, does it? Alright, I'll just pick them all up. Okay, now what? Oh, power went out. No. Yes. Because you have to have an ion cube there. Okay, let's put that in one. Can't do it. I can drop them, but I can't do it. Huh. Can I put one there? No. It raises up, but I can't put one there. Okay, well... I may have busted something by taking them out, but sorry guys. Let's head on back. Hmm, not many clues there, game. Or they're very cryptic if they are there. Um, I have more ion cubes. I wonder if those are going to be needed for the spaceship that I'm uh, constructing. Let's go back and make the high strength. What do these have in them, by the way? figures. Commonest material around. How about some copper or something useful? No? No? One more? Two more? Like I'm only 300 meters down, so lead. Hmm. Alright. Go away. Alright, well, 
Let's uh, head back to base, make a high strength suit now that this beacon is launched here. Know what I, kind of what I'm doing. Sort of what I'm doing. Nifty. So the base, the base, the, um, definitely need another beacon. So the, um, alien base thing. So we found an alien base, which seems to have been the biological research facility. But I don't know what that means. Is that any closer to give me research on what's affecting my body? Um, uh, no clue. Hmm. So, I'm going to go back to base, going to make a, a high strength suit. Um, and then what else have I got the resources to make now? What I'd like to make is the shock absorber on the outside of this, uh, thing here. Polyaniline I can make now. Gold hydrochloric acid from benzene. Takes three of those. Deep shroom and salt deposits. Makes hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid and gold makes polyaniline. So I have enough deep shrooms. I have three. I think I have six. I wonder if I can plant deep shrooms. I wonder if I can grow them in that like grow bed outside. Or make another grow bed just for deep shrooms. That would be cool. Hmm. So daytime because I can actually see around under the water now. Oh, speaking of salt deposits, I have plenty because my base now makes salt. That's right. Never mind. Speaking of salt deposits, how about some water? There we go. glide fragment. Oh, okay. Titanium, in other words. in there more thoroughly. Alien containment, once I get eggs, or I should say once I get an alien containment, I can probably do something with these eggs. I don't know what to do with them in the meantime, though. Collect them? No, inventory full. What have I got in my inventory besides great big eggs? Titanium lead, that's there. Okay. Salt. No, I don't need power cell. Well, 
definitely a fun uh, environment to explore. A um, little bit like Skyrim in one way, though, because it's uh, it's relatively well. I should say not quite like Skyrim, and since Skyrim has a lot more NPCs, but it's really just a single-player game in the sense that you're just wandering around and exploring stuff, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, just be nice to be able to do a little something with it. Let's see, is that a salt deposit I need? Titanium in here. Power cells. Power cells in here. No, where did I put those other power cells? Here? Ah, oh, here they are. Okay. Oh, I was carrying around a ton of batteries for no apparent reason. Creature eggs in the captain's quarters because hey, nothing could ever go wrong doing that. Interesting. Okay. Water, salt. Now, salt. What? Yeah, reinforced types there. I'm working on that. Um, what do I have to make polyamine with? Benzene is blood oil. Hydrochloric acid, deep shroom, and salt deposit. Oh, shoot, because the deep shrooms are on the boat. Hmm. some water in here by the way just thinking about it because I can always use an extra water when I'm underwater and that should do it okay hmm Thinking to myself, just thinking, really just thinking, just trying to figure out how to make this stuff. Benzene, blood oil, hydrochloric acid, yes, and then I can make gold with that. Oh, I'm sorry, use gold with that to make polyamide. I don't know what to do with the benzene, but may as well just, I don't think there's anything else to do with these blood orb things, so I'll make the blood orb things. Blood oil takes three, okay. Now I need some gold. Boom and boom. Make some polyamide. Good. I have to make two of those. So one of these, let's see if I got the right stuff. So one of these things, I've got enough to make. Um, I should make another high capacity O2 tank, by the way. I had a lightweight or a something something O2 tank, which is pretty nice. Yeah, a lightweight high capacity tank, which is the one that I lost. Oh, that's kind of dumb. All right, so what do I want to make? I want to make the perimeter defense system, polyaniline, and a wiring kit. All right, need to make that one for sure. And then another one is the reinforced suit. Reinforced suit is synthetic fibers. 
which I think is the polyaniline and the regular fibers. Benzene and regular fibers. Okay, good. All right, so where? Let's make this one first. Wiring kit. Did I have a wiring kit somewhere? Wiring kit is uh, two silver ore. Well, if I did before, I do now. Do I have a wiring kit in here? No. Computer chip. Okay, two silver ore, please. Not this one. This one. Boom, boom. Wiring kit here. Mm. I know it's I know it's a gaming chair, so it's ergonomic and it's comfortable and all that good stuff. But until I get a boom, so I can put the microphone closer to myself, if I'm sitting back here in gaming, I don't think I'm actually that audible. So I sit up closer to the microphone, and that's a little hard on my back. So I guess we'll go back and forth on that one. All right, what did I have now? I have the materials to make something this thing polyaniline and wiring kit has to be made in the vehicle upgrade section all right let's go do the vehicle upgrades hmm uh stand not flexible remember what i told you about chunk of chinese steel check this out That's got to be, hell, that's got to be a good uh, two, three or four kilos right there. That is a honk of iron. Very stable. Don't have to worry about it. even heavy microphones tipping over. But it means in order to be close to the microphone, I have to move the stand closer to myself, which has some, um, you know, obstacles. So, I mean, don't worry, the uh, uh, kit the uh, what you call it uh, microphone arm is on my wish list and that's one that I want to get let's see here we go use fabricator CMOF modules shock the crap out of the monkey all right shock the monkey yeah I mean I'd like to have the microphone a little bit further away from my keyboard but for right now there it is what good are these things by the way prawn suit modules Temp module, yes. I think I have this, don't I? Thermal reactor, polyaniline, two of those things. Kyanite, don't have that. Jumpsuit, still don't have the nickel ore. Prawn suit grappling arm, don't have the other parts for that. And a torpedo arm. Technically, I can make the torpedo arm. Aerogel, lithium, and titanium. And then I can make some torpedoes, like the vortex torpedo. Don't know what to do with it exactly. And I have no idea what gas pods are, so that one's a no. Um, alrighty, what have we got? Shocking system. Yes, let's put the shocking system on the boat. Access the upgrades, and boom. There we go. CMOT depth module, max depth storage module, hull reinforcement, and shockable things. Health is 87%, so I should probably like fix it a little bit. Alright, one row of food, huh? Alright, got the stomach row, boy. Thanks for the joke. Must be fixed. It's fixed. Okay. Let's go get some fish. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. There you go. Nice little nesting spot. Salt. Fish. Salt fish. 
actually just cook food, probably. And one more salt fish. Salt fish cured, cured, cooked, cooked. Vital signs stabilizing. Cured. All right, eat them all. Yum yum, and water. There we go. Good, good, good. Um. What am I looking for now? Oh, uh, heavy duty suit. Heavy duty suit is which blueprint? Made that, made that. Nickel ore. I have got to find the source for the nickel ore. This is driving me bonkers. Heavy duty suit. Synthetic fibers, diamonds, and titanium. Got diamonds, got titanium. Synthetic fibers is the outside fiber things plus the blood stuff, right? And I have some of that. So synthetic fiber is blood stuff, benzene plus fiber mesh. Fiber mesh is two of the creep mine samples. Okay. And I'm going to need my radiation helmet because it'll yell at me if I don't wear it. There we go. Here's the fiber. Materials, synthetic fibers, and then where do I get to make that other thing over here? Nope. Nope. Depth module mark two. And what do I need to make the other? Oh, I need uh, other parts. There it is. Diamond 2, titanium 2. Something to use diamonds for. No? Yes. No. Reinforced dive suit. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Make my new wetsuit. There we go. And let's put on the wetsuit. Reinforced clothes. Ah, but it's not the radiation suit. Well, isn't that special? So I can wear the reinforced dive suit or I can wear the radiation suit. Not both. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's just store it for right now. Let's put it in the spare gear clothing locker and think about that. So if I'm going out exploring, I probably want to wear this. If I'm working around the wreck, I want to wear the radiation suit. Okay. Uh -huh -huh. All right, what does this give me up here? Data bank, data bank, data bank. What have I found that's new? Geological data, crater edge. Geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. This data is consistent with the theory that the aurora crashed on the edge of a two kilometer by two kilometer volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since the eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. The ecology of the trench surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. Well, well, well. Leviathan. Hmm. No. Just no. We're going to write that one off right now. Okay. So... Hmm. Interesting. Don't think that's advised. All right. Do I know where to find the other stuff? Do not, do not, do not. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I haven't scanned any nickel. I haven't found any nickel. So how do I get to nickel? I still haven't found that, um, what's it called? I still haven't found the uh, crater with the biological stuff in it. The, sorry, the fossils. Let's go and swap suits and head back out to the alien crater base. And then, um, all right, so let's put the regular suit on, or the heavy suit, I should say. Take the other one off. Any excuse to change suits. Boom and boom. Put the radiation suit in here. Boom and boom. Rebreather? Definitely. Car? No. Um, no. Just no. Okay. So, let's go and see if we can do a little bit of exploration out here and see if we can find the entrance to that fossil cave. If we can find the entrance to the fossil cave, then possibly we can find that um, energy fully charged, all looking good. Okay. Should have made another tank while I'm in there. Actually, come to think of it. How much do I need to make a tank? One of those uh, high capacity air tanks. High capacity O2 is a standard O2 tank. Three titanium. This one is three titanium, two glass, titanium, four more, and a silver ore. I can do that. And then there's a lightweight tank uh, down here, which is a plastic lingot. You know, I think I'm actually going to make all those things because running around with just one tank on my back, eh, not as advised. Actually, let's go over here. Let's park it outside this thing. How much of this stuff do I have? A bit. Okay. Standard tank. First of all, equipment. Tank. Now, what do I need to make the, the big tank? Big tank is two glass, titanium, and silver ore. I have that. Silver ore. Don't have glass. How much glass do I have? Any? One. Two. I think that's enough. One silver ore. That's enough. Basic materials glass takes two quarts. High capacity O2 tank. Boom. There we go. And then I get to make the lightweight tank. Which is all that plus a plastic lingot, I think. What's it tell me? Ultra high capacity, no, lightweight. Yeah, plastic on that. This one is that plus. Well, I could do two ultra high capacity tanks. I haven't figured out what the difference is with a lightweight high capacity tank. You know, it's 90 seconds versus uh, 230 or something, so. I'm just, well, oh, I know one reason. This only takes two slots in your inventory. This one takes four slots. It's pretty bulky. All right, plastic lingot plus that. And where do I make it? Modification station. There we go. Lightweight. Boom. Okay. Tab. Pop that puppy on. Fill it up. And then I've got the big one. Four slots. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, so uh, food, water, cooking okay. Let's go and see what the machine has made over here. Probably just salt. One bottle of water. Nice. Okay. If I ever make this base again, remind me to make it a little bit more compact. This is a little silly. Locker gets the salt. There we go. Food, fish, and I think I had one more of the small waters around here. Maybe it's just batteries now. Oh, I got one. 
69%, so that's 30. Perfect. Boom. Okay. Actually, save. There we go. Okay. Suit, armor, nifty. It's even daytime. I'm feeling optimistic. All right, let's go find that cave. So we had a beacon over here. Um, there, crater base. Okay, let's charge off in all directions. Armored up this little thing. base was that way and then that I um, want to aim a little to the side so that um, white forest kelp white white blood blood kelp forest whatever it's called all right that's our time Okay, I got right around 1800 hours of my time, which is nominally about the time I stop. Um, I'll go a little bit longer. I'm going to do just this one bit more of exploration, see if I can find... You know, I really should just like put a marker right on top of this thing, because it's kind of a distinctive area, and uh, acts as kind of like a way station. So, um, Right, so I'll go a little bit longer today. Uh, normally I stream for about two hours, so anyone... Uh, Anyone who's watching go ahead. Uh, should be able to get about two hours per VOD. Oh yeah, here's that big rock and those gnarly specimens down there. All right, I'm gonna go around the rock this way and see if this gives me crater wall or if it gives me something that I can explore without dying. Okay, what's that? That's one of those glowy things. Uh, not glowy thing, sorry, that's one of those floaters. Alrighty, yep, understood. Alright, well thanks for watching the stream, and uh, uh huh, okay, there's some more of those blood orb things. I wonder if I should just pop out and pick some up, actually. Yeah, 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 I've got that part, okay, here. Can I pick Oxygen that? Efficiency no. How about a small one? No. Little one? Yes. Two. And it takes three, right? Yeah, at least three. Yep, I was woken up at 5 a.m. my time this morning, actually, because of that uh, school closure announcement. And uh, then they texted us, and then they emailed us, so yeah, trying all avenues. Hold on a second, you need to get up at 5 a.m. your time? Oh, in order to go shopping at 7? Alright. There we go. Tab, there we go. Oh, see? There's those white things. snake. Alright, we found this stuff before, um, and I think, yeah, well, um, yeah, good luck on, uh, good luck on trying early. Is that something that you have your parent or somebody at the same time, right? Oh, 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 look, 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 I think this is the entry to something. I got a cave entrance up there. Uh, is your parent going to be ready at that time of the day? what the extra times are. Ooh, that's one of those warper things. I do not want warper things. Okay. This looks familiar. Oh, shoot. I have been here before. This is the sulfur cave. Or sulfur stuff. I haven't fully explored it because it has those 
Ghost Reaper things in around it, but I have been in it before. Um, okay, well, guess we want to ride. It better better shape up. Oh, what's this? Crystal and sulfur. Okay. Ouch. Entrance again. Would you leave off, you dopey fish? Here, I'll turn my lights off. Not that it looks like it matters down here. Okay. Big waterfall edge looking object. This is the alien base thing that I found before. Okay. Found this one before. Alright. I think this is just the sulfur cave thing. I still haven't found the one with the bones in it, which is mm, mildly aggravating. But I really should mark this with a beacon, which if I thought about it, I would have put on here. Um, to say, hey, here is sulfur. And you can... I haven't found the one that had those, uh, those creepy... Uh, there was some creepy uh, deep sea uh, biome thing. It told me this is the most terrifying biome. You know, one of the most terror inducing biomes or something like that and it's just like well okay I haven't found it again that was the one that had the bones in it so what I probably should do is a little bit of cheating because technically I already found the biome once ooh, ooh, that's what crab critters so I should probably look up online and see where the biome is again but I'll wait and do that offline um, what's in this small cove area go away Jesus. You are trying to port me out of this place, aren't you? Alright, there's those blood orb thingies. Did some of those already. There's another one over there. Guys are looking gnarly. How about I squeeze in past this one, see if that'll work. The electrical eel thing. Not happy with that. Ooh. Not happy with it. Good gracious, they're all over the place. If that's worth going down there or not. Did I just come out of this space? Can't tell. And what's that? A big chunk of crystal and sulfur, apparently. All right. Well. I found these things again, reliably, which is, I don't know what we're going to call this, blood kelp or something, um, ones that drop the blood orbs, but we shall see, we shall see. Oh, 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 back up, back up, can't go to the top. Okay, base is that way. That way is the alien crater base. Let's go this way a little bit. How far is base? 1.5 kilometers. Oh, I see. Because they were saying 2 kilometer by 2 kilometer crater. Uh, big rumbling noises. Why am I getting big rumbling noises? Why is there something over me? Blue lights. Camera 1. So it's probably telling you in the game lore that there's a two kilometer by two kilometer zone that you can kind of explore, and that's it. Good luck after that. All right, well, fair enough. wonder if this is, how far am I from now from base? Where is home? Those are things that lift things. I'm 1.2. This is a deeply disturbing game in some ways because I keep thinking that something's going to jump out and snack on my ship, leaving me floating my way back. Bone critters. I sure wish. Yeah. I have to figure out where that bone fossil made its way to. 
We did find the bone fossils before, so it's not like they're just, you know, not like I'm asking for huge cheats and everything like that to get through the game. It's just like, where in the hell did the bone fossils go? What is over me? Why does this feel like I'm 500 meters deep? And in a hole. Oh, lava. Blowing up lava. Is it safe to go down? No, apparently not safe to go down there at all. Alrighty then. That Celsius indicator went up in a big way. Lava field, lava field. Lava field. Well, it's like a minefield here. Okay. Well, I think that probably wraps it. Um, I'm going to go and meander my way back to base. You're welcome to watch me navigate badly <laughs> until uh, try to keep my ship alive. Um, but once I dock up, I'm going to go ahead and wrap for the day. Um, and then try it again. Say tomorrow is Friday. Um, I'll try again tomorrow for roughly the same time. Um, possibly a little bit earlier. I also have a carpentry, pro carpentry project I'm working on. So I'll uh, hopefully get a little bit more progress on that. And it's getting on towards evening. Um, all right. Come here, fish. Come here, you blasted fish. Come away. Ouch, ouch, and ouch. Where in the heck is that cave entrance? I don't know. Yep. And of course, you know, with the lack of any kind of mapping application within this game kind of also makes it a little bit like, really? Because you're just like stumbling around trying to remember that landmark was that way or that way. Put down a few, 36 now, oh, lovely. Um, almost out of, uh, almost out of water though. Am I gonna make it back? I guess I can get out and actually repair this thing. Um, oh, hit the wrong button again. Letting me out of it. So having something like a map would be nice, or, um, you know, it, it tells you, it gives you the option of adding sonar, you know, to these vehicles to map a sea floor, but if that's anything like the sonar in the little, uh, uh, little base, or not little sea glider thing, that sonar is kind of wanky, you know, you got like this little heads up display that's kind of showing you a little bit of topographic map of the, of the ocean floor, but there's nothing to tell you what part of the ocean floor that is. So one part topographically mapped looks very much like another part topographically mapped not a big help be nice to have a little mapping utility or something in this saying oh you have now explored this portion of the map but that'd probably be a little cheaty but you know some days kind of like a little cheaty on those aspects of things alrighty here's the base coming up let's park this puppy uh, get the battery recharged and boop in the moon pool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Always like the sound of that. Thank you. Base. How much have I got capacity to carry? How much is in storage? Uh, one, two, and almost three. Let's put some water in there. And now three. There we go. Now I can make some more benzene, if nothing else. Pop this puppy in the storage area. Uh, where did I put this? Where do I want to put this blood oil things? How about putting them in here? Okay. Alrighty. So 5 a.m. your time is um, uh, midnight, my time? 5 hours ahead yeah midnight my time so um all righty let's see here nice little view outside frame that view hit e to take away the tools and save 
Alrighty. Okay, well, uh, thank you all very much for attending the stream. Uh, five hours and 40. Well, you better hit the sack. Um, that's not much time for sleeping, but good luck. And then uh, good luck on the shopping expedition. Hopefully, hopefully uh, everyone in the area hasn't had the same thought. And you'll be able to get in, get out expeditiously ex uh, with some alacrity, let's say. And because uh, I imagine there's a lot of people trying to, nope, sorry, not trying to jinx anything. A lot of people trying to modify, you know, we were thinking of doing some shopping at one of our local stores, but then we're thinking school's out because everything canceled. There's a lot of parents home, a lot of people working from home, a lot of people panicking about the, you know, the increasing nature of the threat. Um, so, yeah, so I don't think there is going to be a good time to, uh, to do shopping for some products. Um, soap is pretty much all sold out. Um, toilet paper is sort of okay still. Face masks, kind of hard to get, you know, although I don't think that they're that effective anymore. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a pretty weird environment to be living in. You know, I was reading one poster earlier today who said there's never been a time in their life where never been a time in their life where they would have thought the next two months are unlike anything I've ever experienced or, you know, in their lifetime. And yet the next two months are going to be something that we've never experienced in our lifetime. So going to be quite an odd experience to live through what's essentially history making events and hopefully the kind of history where most people get through just fine. That's what I'm hoping for. So once again, uh, thanks again for the stream and I will talk to you all online soon. Cheers.